it's looking for it in a CSS uh, subdirectory in terms of the overall URL. So the browser sees the URL as public index index and then it knocks the CSS and stuff the CSS at the end of it. But um, as we know, that is not the case. This is uh, just a controller and uh, action separator. So what we're going to need to do is to tell the browser to always look inside of the always to look inside of the public.css folder. That way it has direct access to it and it's able to pick it up. To make sure that the CSS location URL is always correct, we're going to utilize Zend view helpers. What they do is make sure that some of the more complex HTML elements like meta tags, links, uh, script tags are always formatted correctly and up to the standard. So you should um, avoid manually creating uh, these HTML elements and you use uh, the view helpers to make sure that they are created correctly. The built-in view helpers are outlined in the Zend views documentation. Uh, here we see all the ones that it supports, such as doc types, the links, the meta tags, the script tags, style tags. All of those uh, view helpers are available from the view instance that we created in a bootstrap file. So the first one I will introduce is the doc type. And these are the available doc types that it supports. I'm going to go for HTML4 strict. So once again, those view helpers are classes coming in from the uh, view instance. So here we're setting a doc type element inside of the overall Zend view. And to get it inside of the uh, template page, uh, we echo it out just like we would any other variable through this and the variable name that we set inside of the bootstrap file. Now let's see if it shows up. And indeed, here is our HTML4 script doc type created for us. So we're saved from the trouble of having to type all of this in. Let's do the same for some other tags. Uh, we're going to start with the meta tag. Uh, now before we jump into Zend View's way of handling meta tags, let's get some background information on them from the HTML's point of view. The two pages that I found that give a nice introduction is this one. This gives you a basic introduction to what they are. And this one gives you into the more details, specifically the HTTP equiv tags. Uh, so the two main ones are those that have usual name. So just like any other tag, uh, say um, form input tag, where you would have input type, something like text, and then you give it a name that describes what it is. So same thing here. The meta tags have a name that describe what they are. In this case it's a description or a keyword. Uh, both are to be used by search engines uh, to let the user know what's on the page. Then the other one is the HTTP equiv type of meta tag that tells the browser how to handle the content on the page and some of them include that we're interested in is the content type one uh, tells the browser what to expect on the page the what character set to use how to display it and so on so depending on what kind of tag that you need the regular name of the one or the http equived one uh, you pick the appropriate sub method inside of the view helper so the view helper is the head meta and the ones we're interested in for now that I just described is the append name that's the 
simple meta name tag and the append HTTP equiv that's the one that describes how to handle the page content once again they're all available uh, as a part of the view instance head meta and we're going to use a method append HTTP equiv and the one we're going to set now is the content type so the browser knows what it's looking at and it's going to be a fairly standard and universal text HTML with a character set UTF-8 and once again we're treating the layout template just like any other view and we're going to output that head meta tag right here through the uh, through echo this so here we're setting the head meta and here we are echoing the head meta uh, let's see how the page changed refresh and indeed here we have the HTTP equiv type meta tag that tells the browser that this is an HTML page with a character set of UTF-8 now what happens if we want to include more meta tags do we have to echo out each head meta separately well no because then the view helper element gives us the ability to append as much meta tags as we want right here and then we have to output it only once in the actual template file so say now we want to include the regular named meta tag that will tell the search engine what kind of content is on the page and uh, just to remind you it's append name and the format is once again the first goes the name of the tag which is the description and then what's on the page uh, so I'm going to say using view helpers in Zend view so once again the first parameter is the name with a meta tag and the second parameter is the actual content with a meta tag and refresh the page and we see that both meta tags are in which is very nice so we append all of our meta tags that we need and then we output them only once here and the layout and does all the hard work for us not only do view helpers help us with the HTML standard tags, but also keeping the overall consistency of our page. In this example, we're going to go through the title. We want to make sure that this title is consistent. And we're going to use the head title view helper. and we're going to replace it just like before uh, let's be sure that the title remains there okay Zen framework tutorial but what I can do now is I can append or prepend some specific title names to this general title so if I am um, inside of the index index controller 